seems to me it was almost genetically hardwired. I um, started playing acoustic guitar or being interested at least in acoustic guitar music as early as like 14, uh, when a lot of my friends were still listening to Top 40 and things like that. My real passion for the instrument has always been uh, what you might call fingerstyle guitar, where the right hand is picking out different melodies in the treble and simultaneously in the bass to get a very interesting acoustic sound out of the guitar that I don't think you get out of many other instruments. I wouldn't say that I'm a natural musician. So, for example, I have hands that are not relatively well suited to play the kind of music that I like, so I have to do a lot of exercises and things like that, and that's a real challenge. The most enjoyable part of playing guitar is when I've worked on a particular piece to the point where I no longer need to be um, consciously thinking about what I'm doing. The muscle memory of the hands and, uh, I mean, it sounds a little bit mystical in some sense, but it's sort of like the music and the musician become one. And uh, it takes a long time to get to that stage, but when you do, there's a remarkable sense of elation that comes from playing a song and being able to just experience it in a pure way. My principal field is international law. International law is not like many of the fields that are taught at law school in that international law is really a legal system. So that there is international criminal law, there is the laws of war, there is uh, international business law, international arbitration. And so it's never boring. There's diversity in the field that uh, allows me to pursue interests in a lot of different areas. So let's start with the United States, then we'll go on to the Organization of American States. I think the most gratifying experience in teaching law is when I've gotten notes from students telling me you know, that the class was a transformational point and they ended up pursuing international law and they love it and, and they never thought they would do that. And there's tremendous gratification in that. You know, people do different things, obviously, to relax and to, um, to get a break at the end of the day or to move on from their jobs. Obviously, teaching law is very much a left brain, so to speak, activity. And guitar playing as a complement to that in the sense that it uh, gives me an opportunity to use the right brain to engage in music and to play something that I'm really passionate about for me, it's part of a, a more spiritual aspect of life.